Benin bronzes, once looted from Africa, are finally being returned. A Scottish university, a Cambridge University college and a Paris museum have all handed back cultural artefacts this week that were looted from West Africa during the colonial era. In Paris, the Quai Branly Museum handed over 26 artefacts stolen in 1892 to the Republic of Benin. They were among 5,000 works requested by the West African country, which borders Nigeria. The ceremony was presided over by President Emmanuel Macron. La France ne pouvait pas rester passive devant le fait que 95% du patrimoine africain. France had to act, given the fact that 95% of the African material heritage is said to be outside of Africa. All young people need to take possession of their history to better build their future, to reclaim its power and sometimes its mysteries. There was no reason to condemn the African youth to be denied access to its own history. Some 90% of Africa's cultural heritage is believed to be in Europe, according to estimates by French art historians. Cabron Lee alone holds around 70,000 African objects and London's British Museum tens of thousands more. Jesus College Cambridge returned a sculpture of a cockerel taken by British troops in 1897. The University of Aberdeen returned the head of an Oba, or king, of the once mighty Kingdom of Benin, located in what is now Nigeria. Curator Theophilus Umogbai welcomed the move and said that when completed, the Edo Museum of West African Art, where he works, will serve as a cultural hub to receive the rest of the works. In terms of security, in terms of the climate, in terms of the, everything about you know, keeping the objects safe, the museum is large enough to do that. So that's why we're happy about the prospects that that museum will, will help to do. So we are ready to receive them, no matter how large or how many they are. The handovers mark a milestone in the years-long fight by African countries to recover works pillaged by explorers and colonizers, as numerous European institutes grapple with the cultural legacies of colonialism.